Hello and welcome back to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today, I'm going to show you how to make homemade tortilla chips two ways. This recipe for tortilla chips is really easy to do, super simple. If I can do it, you can do it. Let's get started. All right, so both ways, we're going to bake them and we're going to fry them. So both ways are very excellent. For the baking method, let's go ahead and preheat the oven to 275 degrees Fahrenheit. And then we want to have a pot of oil for the frying method. And we want to heat the oil up to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I have two stacks of corn tortillas here. These are pre-made corn tortillas that I just bought from the store, really, really cheap. And uh, you can make your own homemade corn tortillas if you like. I'm not gonna do that for this video. I'll probably do another video where I make homemade flour tortillas and homemade corn tortillas. All right, so let's go ahead and prep these. So we take this little stack, take a nice sharp knife, and let's go ahead and just cut it down the middle like that. And then what we wanna do, we'll turn it, cut it down the other middle. And then now we wanna cut these down each middle again to form our chips sizes. Boom, just like that, very simple. Now these are pretty much ready to go. I'm just gonna go ahead and put these ones, these are the ones that we're gonna fry. So go ahead and put them in here loosely. All right, so like that. So you just put them in a bowl or on a plate. So these are ready to fry. I'm gonna set these aside. And now for the ones that we're gonna bake. Essentially we're doing the same thing, but since we're not frying these in our oil, I'm using uh, vegetable oil, but you can use canola oil, olive oil, just anything that has a fairly high heat content. Um, for these ones that we're gonna bake, I'm gonna take some oil, this is vegetable oil. And I'm just gonna go ahead and baste it on this side. Lightly, turn it over. And baste that side. And then, now you can do that with all of them and stack them and cut them. I'm just gonna show you how to do one of them. Then we'll go ahead and do the same thing. Okay, and then at this point you can season them with some salt right now, or we can do it afterwards. And now what we want to do is I'm going to take a baking sheet, and I have a silicone mat on here, you can use parchment paper. Then I'm going to go ahead and just lay these out. Alright, so these are ready to go. Now what we want to do is we want to bake these in the oven, 275 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're going to bake them for about 8 to 10 minutes and then we're gonna flip them to the flip these over to the other side and then bake them for another five to ten minutes so they'll get nice and crunchy. Okay, onto that step with these. And in the meantime, we're going to fry up our other chips. Okay, our our oil temp is right about there, 325 Fahrenheit. Now what I did is I just set my oven stove top to medium heat and then it took about 10 minutes for the oil to heat up. All right now what we do is we're going to go ahead and just grab some of these chips and it's going to start to bubble like that. Let's go ahead and put them in. We don't want to crowd them and then we're going to let them crisp up and they'll get a little bit lightly golden in color. We want to make sure to kind of turn them over too. It won't take very long. So probably, it'll probably be about a minute per side. Um, but you'll be able, to, like I said, you'll be able to gauge by touching on it how crisp it is. Another way that you'll be able to tell that they're done is the amount of bubbles coming off. The amount of bubbles coming off will subside. Okay, and you got these nice, nice golden brown edges right here. That's exactly what we want to see. These are all pretty much done. And then now I'm gonna take my plate and I have a paper towel on there. I'm just gonna go ahead and take these, let some of the oil drain off, put them on the plate. It's good to season these right when they come out and they're still warm with a little bit of oil on them. I'm gonna come in here and we're gonna add some salt. All right, got the fried ones on the left, got the baked ones on the right. I did uh, make more of the fried ones. You can tell they look a little bit different. 
All right, there you have it. Homemade tortilla chips, two ways. Let me do a quick little taste test here. I'm gonna pick up this guy. This is one of the fried ones. Hmm. One of our baked ones. Hmm. They really are both amazing. Either the fried ones or the baked ones. You can't go wrong with either of them. The baked ones are a little bit more healthy. I think the fried ones taste a little bit better, but that's just my opinion. Super easy to do. If I can do it, you can do it. Go out there and make your own. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions or comments or requests, put them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Also down below, you'll find the ingredients list as well as my other social media accounts and my other YouTube channel in case you wanna check any of those out. Time for me to dive into one of these. Oh yeah, I already did, but now I'm gonna do some salsa. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm.